Meantime, on the meme trade, retailers are targeting cash-strapped Rite Aid. And with that stock up around 70% in just the last five days, Kate Rooney explains the enthusiasm for Rite Aid. Kate. Hey, Leslie, good morning. So Rite Aid is the latest example. We've seen shares of struggling companies surging lately as speculative trading picks up. Rite Aid joins debt-ridden Tupperware up 500% for the month. Truck company Yellow, which despite shutting down operations, saw its stock pop 400% last week. You've got a few common threads here in what makes what many refer to as meme stocks. So these are consumer names with underlying problems. They're micro-cap stocks with small floats to begin with. That tends to be a classic target for these short sellers. The names have about 20% of the available shares sold short. That's about four times the average stock, therefore set up here for a potential short squeeze. Social media can also attract these individual traders, but there's also hedge funds that tend to monitor forums like Reddit and Pylon as well. Third point, Dan Loeb highlighting this dynamic in a letter to investors last week, saying that fundamental analysis is increasingly taking a backseat to monitoring daily options and Reddit message boards. Loeb not entirely quitting short selling, but says third point will reduce single name short exposure. The action, guys, coincides with total retail net inflows hitting the highest levels we've seen since February. That's according to VandaTrack. Not all meme and momentum chasing, though. The bulk of the buying has actually been in broad-based ETFs and Treasury ETFs. Back to you.